it's a business model that's b built on something called companion annual compounded annual growth rate what is compounded annual growth rate is that basically we need to keep growing our business in order to make investors happy and ultimately these investors are going to invest in us provided we can do so the problem is as you can see here there's only so much land that we have to work with and we have used petroleum and, and chemicals and everything else to maximize the production of products for in this case this is all uh, this is uh, barley growing here for beer Japanese beer and what it means is we have to in order for us to keep growing this way we have to increase land production it means destroying the rainforest it means destroying habitat that other species need and require in order to survive our business model is the fundamental issue that's driving the destruction of our planet as we know it when I say our planet I mean the planet that we live on not the planet meaning the planet that species the planet that exists because the planet's going to be here for another four billion years um, provided some asteroid doesn't destroy it and even if it did it may wipe out life but I'm getting distracted here our business model ultimately powers our corporations and as these corporations we call startups and startups Google Facebook all these start off with some guy some college students with an idea Apple all these corporations started with an idea that ultimately grew into these mega corporations and these mega corporations ultimately are selfish they're selfish in the sense that they care only about the interests of a few of their stakeholders of their investors and they will do whatever it takes in order to maximize profits for those stakeholders using unfortunately the only model known to us which is this compounded annual growth rate model which I call the startup business model and it is funds from these startups and other things that end up going into special interest groups and lobbyists and they elect and they select the laws and you know and then we're dealing with the Halliburton's and the fracking and all of this and the destruction of our our planet's natural resources we have companies like uh, Nestle that ultimately is raping our planet of water and trying to buy up every well they can to control water and there's some great documentaries that you can watch on that so the question to you then how do we fix this problem how do we fix how do we change the planet that we currently are destroying how do we transform society from a selfish to a selfless model how do we do that well if the entire system is based on a business model that is which is a selfish business model then ultimately in order to bring about the change we have to change that business model from a selfish one to a selfless one and then you've got to look at the business model itself the corporations and ask yourself well what can I do in order to change the corporation in order to promote its selflessness well the way you do that is ultimately attacking and changing the bylaws transforming the bylaws of, of a corporation that ultimately states for example that it will not participate in lobbying or special interests or politics is mandated in its articles in corporation 
you mandate that 80% of the net profits, of the net profits, you pay all the salaries and everything else, the net profits must be used for the benefit of the planet. Since startups are synonymous to, in my view, destructive entities that cause harm to the planet, then we must have a new name, a new paradigm. Like media, you know, is white noise owned by a few, we have social media. So I've come up with the name FoundUps, and FoundUps basically is an idea for helping to solve problems. We've put, put problems first, profits second, third, whatever. It's not about the profits, it's about the solutions. And we ultimately strive to bring about positive selfless change. And we commit that 80% of any net profits or capital gains developed out of these activities will be used to launch more found ups. And we are committed that we will not use our money for lobbying or special interest groups or politics at all in regards to the net profits and that instead we will use it to help others launch their found ups. And should these found ups become corporations, then we are committed to ensuring in the Articles of Incorporation that number one, they won't participate in politics, they won't participate in special, in participate in special interest groups, and instead we'll put the money back into helping to save our planet. Found ups is really a simple idea. And the one thing that we lack is obviously capital in order to, to really do big things. And that's where you come in. You can become a member, you can become a stakeholder of Found Ups by making a monthly contribution. These funds will be used to help launch Found Ups, the corporation to help bring about the change needed. And it gives you the license to launch your own found ups by simply becoming a member, kind of like you own your own McDonald's. You launch your own found up products. You can use the name, you become your own boss in your area, wherever you are. Ultimately, when I look around, I see red. Kind of like a game of risk. I see red. I see rivers that are polluted. And I see agrochemicals leaching into our ground, destroying the water needed for bees. And it's depressing at times. And I find myself withdrawing and thinking there's nothing we can do. It's pointless. And I realize that ultimately, for us to bring about the change, you and I have to do it. And my goal is simply to educate folks that there is a solution. That we can do it. We just need to change our mindset and start realizing that our current business model is broken. And unless we change it, we risk everything. It's as simple as that.